So I've been giving my students a series of challenges. Uh, this one is with a ball of wet clay. Uh, they get to set it down and form it however they want before they start. They don't know what's up. And then I give them a tool and tell them that they have to finish the object using the tool without ever touching the object with their hands. So all they get is a tool and I pass out a bunch of different tools at random that have different capabilities. Some of them are real simple and some of the tools are a bit more complex and some of them aren't really clay tools and they get to try them all. Uh, generally for these challenges I make them really short, 10 or 15 minutes so that the students don't have any real stake in the outcome and they can be experimental and I tell them that uh, they're, I tell them specifically they're not going to get graded on it that uh, all they have to do is do it and when a few of the students have experienced it before they get a little bit competitive and they figure out that they're looking for uh, what they can do, how they can leverage this tool into something that's interesting and usually it involves texture Uh, the students are always full of questions, you know, can I do this, can I do that, uh, is it okay if I use this this way, and um, actually I'm pretty harsh, uh, maybe that's not good, but I, I don't let them touch the thing. If they run into a problem, I'm willing to pick it up and set, set it down somewhere for them, but I want them to experience this one anyway without ever using their hands. Um, and uh, it really is a, uh, for me anyways, a really productive thing to watch them do this. I, I learn about a lot about texture Thomas? from watching it. Yeah. I think they do too and enjoy it. The lawyers? No, it's the muggles. Politicians, corporations, and people with business. You know, it used to be in order to... It would have been nice if it would have had sound. So I pulled out the book that I sent with him and showed him right here. So for a, a 10 or 15 minute uh, exercise at the beginning of the class, this one is probably my favorite. I've got some others that I do. Um, and you want to make sure that all the tools are, are pretty different from each other, although giving everybody the same tool might be a, a, a different take on the project after people have done it. Occasionally people fire them and it becomes something, but uh, mostly I see this as a learning experience. I thought I would just put it all up somewhere. Uh, it's nice when the clay isn't too stiff. Uh, it tends to be hard on people's hands with some of the tools if it's stiff. What? My muscles are tired. I think I'm using my tool the wrong way. Oh. Yep. Uh, I, I got the idea for these uh, short little challenges from a series of demos that uh, I heard Mike Pede describe that he used to do in his classes. Good uh, he described them when I was a graduate student and uh, that and uh, the Ensika project guide kind of got me uh, to start thinking about these little short 